in the little town of Wollaston in Northamptonshire, just south of Wellingborough, there is a little museum. Currently it's open uh, twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, for two hours. <laughs> nice old milk chain there. And behind it is a large earth mound known as Beacon Hill. Some people did speculate that it was a burial mound, but it's more uh, commonly thought of as the Mott from a Mott and Bailey castle. Thought to have been erected in, in a period known as the Anarchy, or sometimes known as the Cousins War, because it was fought over two cousins, Stephen and Matilda, both grandchildren of um, William the First, William the Conqueror. I think it was around about the 1130s. Matilda was the daughter of Henry the First, and she should have become queen. She was also known as the Empress Maud because of her marriage. And Stephen, who was also a um, like a grandson of William the First, so he did have a, a legal claim, but Matilda's was greater, but she was a woman. And in that time period, they were a bit odd about women being on the throne, or there was certainly no precedence for a woman, at least not in England. And as soon as um, Henry I died, even though it was in his will that his daughter should become queen, because his son, um, William, had died on a ship, I think it was known as the White Ship, which crashed um, on its way back from France to England. Stephen had also been planning to go on that ship, but um, I think the crew had been drinking, and, he'd, and there was a storm brewing, he decided to take a later ship, which saved his life. There we've got a pillory and a stocks. They're, they're modern, it says on the sign. People get confused sometimes. Um, a pillory, you stand up in it, and a stocks, um, you sit down in it. And just over there you can see the church. I often say, you find the church, you'll find a castle. Man-made earth, uh, earth mound. Um, some people think it was erected by Robert D. Newberg. Yeah, the Civil War, 1135 to 1154. There's a few sculptures in the garden here as well. It is surrounded by houses. Obviously the Bailey's gone. I mean, how the mop managed to survive, I don't know, because it's surrounded. Hello, pussycat. Oh, you're off and running, aren't you? I'm in your garden disturbing you. There are earthworks here, but I mean, I mean the houses are higher up than down here, but you don't know whether or not um, that's more modern works. Another nice uh, statue there. Oh, it's Poseidon being eaten by a giant fish. Oh, sounds like some more visitors coming. Somebody's got a camouflage tent down here. I mean, this is one of them little hidden gems that's hardly open very often and people don't know about. It's right in the middle of the village, or the town, I should say. Yeah. It's partially overgrown, but you can obviously get to it, get to the top of it. And if you can get here on the days it's open, if you're a castle enthusiast, you're going to come and see it. Obviously it's the only sort of thing that castle enthusiasts would um, come and visit.
for me coming and seeing things like this so uh, or I'd happily come and see something this than some grand monument like um, oh there's another cat yeah some grand edifice like um, Warwick Castle and this is free but yep that's Beacon Hill in Wollaston another one off the list